Hello, here I am again walking down to check the mail on this nice uh, sunny, well, partly cloudy day today. It's uh, in the 80s and humid. Just uh, wanted to reflect on some things that's You know, being said, of course, yeah, it does hurt what uh, some of these people say. It hurts. And, but, God's word says that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. And words basically can be used as weapons. Yeah, I'm doing something. Not sure what. Yeah, moving the camper in or out. I'm not sure which. Over there. Uh, someone's always moving in and moving out, moving in, moving out. That has to do with this uh, gas and oil business. And uh, long story short, sometimes when I talk, uh, of course, like I said, my my. The nerve is, yeah, the nerve that was severed was down in here, but it affects the lip, okay? It didn't affect the jaw, it affect my lip, so get it straight before you, you know, say things. Of course, you know, I have to approve your comments, unless you can find a way past me approving your comments and uh, post them to my YouTube. But I want to make this clear and, and I want to make it straight that the nerve affects my lip. And sometimes when I'm talking and I get ahead of myself or what I'm talking about when I'm saying a word, sometimes sounds like something other than what I'm trying to say. Like, uh, for instance, goddess sometimes comes out while I'm talking real fast as goddess. And I mean goddess. Goddess is a word. It is in the dictionary. So... There are times, you know, that uh, my lip, this feeling of, and fat lip, and when I'm talking, it, it it feels like it's you know getting like I can feel like it's getting fatter. Uh, I mean, it feels like it's you know it's hard to explain until you actually have this. Uh, issue you basically have to walk a mile in my shoes in order to understand what I'm going through but this woman from Thailand she doesn't want to walk a mile in my shoes because she thinks she's better than me she thinks she's better than some other Christian preachers and ministers if they're not preaching if they're not preaching basically the uh, love and joy and peace 
they're not, they're not preaching what they consider is the the gospel. The gospel a lot of people believe is only love and peace and joy and happiness. Nothing bad. And then when people like me and Jim Baker and uh, John Kilpatrick and John Shorey, just to name a few, come along, they uh, and myself are constantly put down, ran down, called names. For instance, uh, my wife's stepfather had made some comments on my uh, YouTube. Uh, excuse me, not YouTube. Excuse me. Yeah, I'll wait until the tractor passes here. Now, well, he used to make comments on my YouTube is what I was wanting to say and then after I went in and uh, basically banned him and even that woman from Thailand from making comments they still can make comments but I have to approve their comments and sometimes I don't know how that the comments that the woman from Thailand makes can go through even though I don't approve them. So, long story short, what I was going to say was that uh, my wife's stepfather had texted me on my cell phone today about seeing my video and uh, again he had called me names five times he called me the same thing five times and yet her mother thinks I'm the one calling them names and wants me to apologize but yet it's like Either she is so blind and don't want to see the names that her husband is calling me, or I don't know what the problem is, but it's like they call me names and yet I'm the one that has to apologize. It, no, it's not happening. I'm not apologizing for something I'm not doing wrong. I'm not calling them names at all. I've called people morons because of the fact that they refuse and they have their heads in the sand. They refuse to believe that God Almighty, the great I Am, isn't just a loving God. He is also a vengeful God. And He will chastise you who are constantly putting me down and other people like myself who is preaching warnings of what is coming upon America and the world. Because you refuse. You will see. You will see what is coming. You might not be seeing it right now because you think you're blessed. Because you have a good paying job. You have a nice home. You have a nice car. You have this. You have that. You have something else. That's because Satan has blinded you from the truth. So, uh, they're moving things around, doing some things around here today. Uh, 
Anyhow, I'm going to have to get off here for now because I'm back at my trailer and done walking down checking the mail. So I'm going to say uh, bye for now and uh, God bless you and have a blessed day.